Welcome to the Warframe Open Encyclopedia, where today we're checking out the Galaxian Vandal. The Galaxian Vandal was originally a reward from the hostile mergers operation. After that was done, it was given out as a Twitch drop, and finally it was given to the Barakatir Void Trader. So outside of trading for it with other players, the only way to get the Galaxian Vandal is from Barakatir. The Galaxian Vandal is a mastery rank 12 primary beam weapon that does pure code damage with 14% crit chance, a 2 times crit multiplier, a massive 38% status chance, and it's perfectly accurate with a 100 round magazine and a 1.8 second reload. So when we compare it to the standard Galaxian, you can see that it's a pretty significant upgrade. It has a bigger magazine, faster reload, more crit, even more status, and it does more damage. It is still limited in its range though. It only has a range of 28 meters, which is about this far away from the door. Though to be honest, that is more than enough for the vast, vast majority of tile sets. There is one more thing that makes the Vandal version of the Galaxian better than the standard Galaxian though, and that's the fact that unlike the standard Galaxian, which does damage with the beam, the Vandal version of the Galaxian actually spawns a 2 meter sphere wherever the beam lands, and that's what actually does the damage. So instead of doing damage with a single point like the standard Galaxian, the Vandal does damage in this little cold cloud in spawns, which has a spherical radius of 2 meters. And this combined with the fact that the Vandal actually has some crit, it doesn't have a ton, but it has some means that it performs significantly better. Because we can actually build it for a viral munition setup and let slash progs do the damage for us. And the setup is actually pretty straightforward. We have critical delay and argon scope for crit chance, vital sense for crit damage, hunter munitions for the slash procs, malignant force and rhyme rounds for viral, and then serration and split chamber for damage and multi shot. Now, if you don't mind reloading a little bit more often, what you can do is take out argon scope and actually replace it with vigilante fervor. This will give you a lot more fire rate, and it will also give you a 5% chance to crit with an orange crit rather than a yellow one. Though the overcrate, of course, only applies if you're not running vigilante mods on your companion. Now, while the damage definitely isn't insane, it is significantly better than on the standard Galaxian, and it scales pretty well too because it's just slash damage, which is effectively true damage. It also feels a lot better because of that 2 meter AoE, so you don't necessarily need to run something like a gas setup or run combustion beam to make it feel good while doing stuff on the star chart. I would still recommend you give the gas setup a try though, because it's even better than on the standard Galaxian, because now you have the AoE of the weapon overlapping with the AoE of the clouds and the AoE of the combustion beam just blowing stuff up all over the place. The Vanda version of the Galaxian can do some decent damage, and it definitely feels better than the standard Galaxian, so I would recommend you pick it up if you see it on Burrow, especially if you have a Galaxian Riven, because the Vandal version of the Galaxian does have quite high Riven disposition. Don't expect too much from it though, it is fine when you're doing stuff around the star chart, doing nightmare missions, fissure missions, even early sorties, but I wouldn't take it into Steel Path. And that is pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching as always guys, I hope you've enjoyed it and found it helpful, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.